Good morning, everyone. This is Honeywell, and I'm playing Planet Base. Um, I didn't play all weekend, so I logged in to see what was going on and refresh my memory. And during the last episode, we had just finished building this dorm off to the side, and I was I kind of planned this out that I was going to have a meteor laser over here. Well, I decided that was stupid, so I deleted this dorm and repositioned it over here and then as you do I was decided that instead of a bar right off of this biodome um, that we could really use another cafeteria for our biologists and the people working down this side of the base so I decided to see if that could fit in and then I had an awkward little area here that I wanted to see if I could fit in uh, an oxygen generator and it took me so long to uh, get the connections to be able to hook up to everything that I decided that instead of uh, starting from the beginning that I would just uh, save the game and kind of catch you guys up also, while I was doing that, we had a trader come by, and we traded a bunch of all of our medical kits for some starch, um, because we need the plastic. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We're all caught up, and we have a gazillion building projects going on, and I am going to queue up even more. One of the risks of doing this is... Um, there's going to be a ton of people outside, so if we get a solar flare, um, a lot of people are going to are going to be hit by that. <laughs> um, and also, because I have so much queued up, and we don't have the resources for it, our semiconductor factory and our spare workshop are not going to have the metal they need um, to produce to produce their stuff. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on our spares cancel building if needed or maybe we can get some uh, if we have a trader come by we'll buy spares um, because we're not going to be producing them because I'm going to be queuing up a ton of a ton of buildings and because I am queuing up all of this building um, one of the things we're going to want to do is put up a solar panel so we don't have any power issues yeah I wanted to connect it to the back of these mines, but maybe I'm not going to be able to. Oh, okay, there we go. And then I'll just cut right into the mountain. Um, with that, we're going to increase priority. And then, of course, with that, we want a, a battery. Or, I'm sorry, a power collector. Okay, so hopefully this will, uh, even though I'm not going to be paying too much attention to it, hopefully this will keep our power grid uh, up and going. Uh, because we are putting this canteen over here, I'm going to go ahead and fill out this biodome. Um, am I going to fill out this biodome? Okay, we have 10 biologists and one biologist, two biologists. I'm going to put some uh, meat vats over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one more, 10. Okay. Uh, we do have biologists to maintain this. So we're going to fill this up and and when we get this canteen put in there'll be room for a lot of meal makers so we won't um, so we won't be stockpiling food which I don't like to do I want just enough um, but what isn't a waste of, of time is stockpiling meals because that's what people eat 
And with that, I think we're going to turn, we have our processing plant being built here and we have this landing pad full of starch. So what I'm going to do is, uh, we're going to ask for some colonists and of course, I'm gonna want some workers. Okay, so we have our processing plant just got built. Our dorm got built, so let's uh, queue up some beds for this. And the next thing we're going to do, basically we have two in the beginning of the game, we had a countdown timer um, for our spares. We needed to get our factory up and running before our spares ran out. Now we have a different, um, a different countdown timer, and that is our prestige. What it? Oh, okay. Um, and that's our prestige at a hundred prestige um, on this planet. Uh, that triggers the invaders. Uh, attackers, I'm not sure what they're called, um, that'll trigger uh, attacks. So we want to be up and running with armed guards before uh, we hit that 100 prestige. So we have a little bit of a, a, time, a time crunch right now. And, and we don't have hardly any metal, so let's just do two of these and call that a day. So, so to kind of get ourselves ready for, um, get ourselves ready for that, we wanna be uh, manufacturing uh, weapons. We'll need even more semiconductors. I'm gonna up the, increase the spare limit to five on the off chance that some free metal comes around. I'm gonna increase the semiconductors to five. Again, I don't expect any of this to be built. Um, it's not a bug, it's not It's not terrible AI. It's, I'm building all kinds of things and there's no materials for these machines. I just wanted to say that because the forms are full of of people concerned that uh, the AI is terrible because it's not doing what they're asking. It's even though we're gonna run out of spares and whatnot, it's not because the game is buggy. It's because I'm building too much at once. Okay, back to our intruders. Um, we have a. I think everyone does this, so I don't think this is anything new. Um, there's a security console here. I'm gonna build an oxygen generator um, with airlocks going off of it and then I'll have flight um, pads surrounding it. So if we do get attacked the intruders will come in um, through these airlocks and they'll be funneled straight into the uh, security security room. And now we just have to see if uh, I can get these airlocks right. Uh, hopefully they'll have something that we can use. Uh, that would be, I don't really care about that. It would be nice. I'm going to go ahead and buy these spares even at 60% commission, um, just because, like I said, we're not gonna be producing them. And we'll do, oh wait, no, we're out of med kits. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy those. Okay, that looks good. If we can fit in our flight pads and whatnot. Let's see, landing pad.
Oh, shit. This is going to be bad. I bet I have a gazillion people outside working. Where's everybody? Maybe it's not bad. Oh, uh, we lucked out again. We've been really lucky with the solar flares. Really, really lucky. There's no uh, two ways about that. And right now I'm just planning this out. Um, all of my bases are look like this now. Okay. And one nice thing about the yellow alert, I don't have to worry about anyone coming out here to try and build this stuff. Yeah, that's, um, actually, let's, we'll temporarily connect that up. I want to get a telescope. I want to get a telescope built so we can maybe get a warning on the solar flares. Um, but beyond that, I want to get an anti-meteor laser up. It's not going to be perfect. The coverage is going to be pretty poor. Um, but it should be something. Okay, is this alert done? I think it is. And we're going to increase this back up to uh, four times speed. Bring that starch in. Is our storage room full? No. I guess I'm just asking them to do too much. And we have two, two people got caught. Of course, workers. Bianca. Sorry, Bianca. And I don't know who you are. Oh, you know, our workers are decimated. What is that? Five? Five workers at a commission? That's bad. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but I do want to try and get a little bit of, uh, get an anti-meteor laser up and get a little bit of coverage there. Our irradiated workers did not make it. Yeah, we definitely want 100% <laughs> workers here. And... One worker. We have no luck. I'm surprised this is still creeping up considering uh, considering the deaths that we just had. But we will see. Hopefully we'll get a trader along with some spares. I should have bought those spares the last time. I just didn't want... Every time when you trade... Every time you trade something, you... You halt production on your base because the... Your workers and everybody else needs to carry goods to and fro. Um, so sometimes... Sometimes if you're just getting a small amount of things, it's... It's a... It's more productive just to let your base do their thing and produce their own their own goods. Well, it looks like the colony ship <laughs> cannot be destroyed. Ah, that's good to know. Power storage is low. Oh, because we had the meteor hit our We had that meteor hit our power collector. Uh, we're going to try for one more round of colonists. We are not ready for um, we are not ready for intruders at all. We don't have any guns. So if this gets up to the um, if this gets up to 100 before I'm ready, I'll turn off colonists even if I don't have all the workers that I want. There goes up a solar panel, which I'm happy to see. 
just to give us that little bit extra um, having a lot built. And metal is our problem right now, so I guess I should just prioritize the mines. But I have all that plastic to go through too. Okay, I'm going to prioritize this processing plant with the plastic and a mine, and hopefully we'll get an even split of all of that. And I'm going to turn off colonists for now. And hopefully we'll get a trader in. How are these guys doing? They're still waiting for plastic. Hopefully we'll have that coming out soon. We'll get some medical supplies. We'll get some of these uh, workers back to work. And uh, yeah, it's just a it's just a waiting game right now. Um, I don't usually speed up the game, speed up the game like this, but the, this is pretty much a kind of a boring part. We're at a standstill. We could have went one or two ways um, at this point right here. We could, I know we've run out of spares. I don't want to stop construction. We're just going to let it go for a little bit and see what happens. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to, we're going to recycle some of this. Increase the priority on this. Maybe once one little lone metal can make it into there. No, of course not. Oh, what do we have? Just in the nick of time. Uh, we're going to buy all of these spares. Oh, we still don't have any med kits. We're going to... We're going to buy some of these spares. so I don't have to worry about it. That came at just the right time. And now I need to put back all of my buildings and I'm not gonna have a, and I'm not gonna have the metal for them. It's the, it's the price you pay. I wanna make some progress and uh, this is just the way it's gonna be. As soon as that connection gets built, we'll uh, deck out our canteen because we have uh, food piling up here that we need to deal with. A driller pot bot patent would be lovely, but our medical supplies are, uh, are down to zero, so I guess it wouldn't even matter. Um, we're going to put in... Do we have... I'm going to start it off with two meal makers once I see what the supplies of our food get down to and look like, then I'll adjust it from there. And we'll also put in a TV. So now we have uh, this end of the base. Once It's actually not all that efficient right now, but once all of these interior uh, connections are connected. It gives people a, a quick path to uh, to some water, entertainment, food, bunks, and we got our power collector up and our solar panel. One thing that I also want to do is water. Well, I want to do a lot more than that. I want more. I want more power collectors too, but.
but there's only so much we can do. I mean, we have six ore. <laughs> I mean, and I have a starport over here that's a 10 metal plus another four, five. What is that? 15 metal we're asking for. Plus, plus, plus all of uh, the production over here that doesn't have metal to do to do that. It's I mean, it's a big ask. Are you food or are you something good? Your food dismissed. And uh, people are not happy. But that's all right. Hopefully all of these basic uh, basic meals will work their way out and then we'll get a, a, a more even variety. Um, and I also wanted to put in some some chicken. And there was a what an impact on a connection. Uh, that's also something that I wanted to mention. Um, redundancies aren't a thing. Uh, it's it makes sense, and it's extremely popular, and people are worried about this. Um, they they build multiple collections to their power grid um, out of fear that if a meteor hits one of these connections, it'll wipe out um, the entire the entire grid if it's on just one one thing connection. Um, but that's not a thing. The developer uh, purposely uh, kept it so your power grid would still function. Um, and the reason being they said it would be uh, too difficult. They said one bad meteor strike could wipe out your entire base. And I guess that's just something they did not want. So there is no concern whatsoever with my power grid. I'm not in any danger because of the way it's laid out. And this is all temporary to begin with. I'll be moving all that. I'll be uh, making it a lot neater, a lot easier to see at a glance what's going on with it. Okay. Seven. What is our prestige at? Oh, 97, 98. It's going up. Uh, the way we have it right now, I'm closed off to um, colonists and visitors. The only ships that um, that attackers will be on would be colon colonists or visitors. So we're actually not in any danger. Um, but we do need to up the pace and get some of this and get some guns produced. Um, what are our manufacturing limits? Did I adjust them? Yeah, we're going to try and get a stockpile of uh, five guns. Once we do, we'll open up our, our colonists to guards, hopefully get a round of guards in. Um, we increased our semiconductors to five in the hopes that we could manufacture some guns, robots, and I also uh, want a meteor laser over here. And that takes two or three I can't remember uh, semiconductors for that. But none of that is going to happen until this construction push is over, which it almost is. So so yeah, that'll be nice. And we have our starport. What is our... Let's, uh, I'm going to open us for visitors for a couple minutes to see if we can't get some visitors in. And this takes a massive 33 power. Which I think we have, but if we don't, that'll be the first thing going off. And that's our last resource out to our telescope. So we'll put a, uh, a telescope console in here. 
and maybe we'll get an advance warning on something um, once I get a meteor laser up maybe we'll get maybe we'll get warned about something I think uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and call this an episode. We built all of the things that we had queued up. Um, our base is, I mean, it's not in in great shape, but we are making progress towards what we want. We have, um, we're getting some more males in. We have the a fledgling flight pad laid out. Um, still, lots of missing connections. Uh, still. Oh, we have a trader. Maybe there's something good. Um, do we want to buy some of this? No, we're not going to. No. We are not. Okay, I'm going to call this the up, oh, and here's our visitor. And we have one lonely visitor there. We're still at 98. Um, I want to get the visitors in so we can start uh, accumulating some coins. So, yes, this really is the end of the episode. When we come back, uh, we'll go ahead and continue to try and uh, let things be for a while so we can get some guns manufactured, get some guards in, um, fill in all of these missing connections which will make our base more efficient uh, take a look at the food situation because it looks like we have a lot piling up and uh, yeah we'll just continue with planet base as usual uh, thank you very much for watching um, I also appreciated all the uh, likes and comments over the weekend that's always nice uh, so thank you for those who are following along I really appreciate it and we will see you again shortly